Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Peter here. So today we're, we're looking at 24 Elixir Platinum. A quick shout out and a thank you to Chris who very kindly sent me, like I think, the full set of, from 24. So I really appreciate that dude. Thank you very much. I will be reviewing them all. The opening of this, I actually really don't like. It, um, it smells kind of skanky, like I don't want to say barnyard skank because I don't think it's quite that, but it smells overly synthetic, sharp and dirty smelling. It's almost, almost like a barnyard smell, like that kind of dirty skank, but it's got this plasticky smell as well that reminds me of like melted plastic, like um, like a, like a biro that's been melted at the tip or something kind of that kind of vibe mixed with like this barnyardy kind of skank it just smells unpleasant to my nose I can't really explain the 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 nastiness it just doesn't smell good to me there's something not working in the opening there's a vague fruitiness and a citrus in the opening mixed with this skank that I really don't like fortunately that doesn't last long and after about two to three pushing five minutes that kind of skankiness tones down quite quickly but the opening few notes for the first couple of minutes is really unpleasant to me. Then it develops into this sweetness that smells quite jammy to me, um, like like a strawberry jam or for the Americans that are watching strawberry jelly. Um, it has that kind of feel to it. As it develops a little bit further into the mid, I start to notice a brown suede. And it smells like a soft brown suede and a, a hint of rose, like a dark red rose. So for the mid, the best way I can describe it is if you imagine soft brown suede with one single dark red rose laying in the middle covered in like a strawberry or fruit uh, jam or jelly. Uh, that's, that's what it smells of to me. It's brown suede with a lot of artificial kind of sweetness that smells jammy. I mean, it smells pleasant. I, I, I think the mid is quite nice. It just, it's not something I would wear myself personally. As it develops into the dry down, I notice what I think is ISO E Super. Um, other people might say it's musk. But to me, it smells more like the effect that ISO E Super has in the fragrance. Because I've tried blending it with that myself, ISO E Super, so I kind of have a feel for the effect that, that it can have on the fragrance. This to me feels like it's got quite a lot of ISO E Super in, rather than musk. You might have a little bit of musk as well, but I think it's that cloud-like smell from ISO E Super that you're going to get in here. And it's more prominent in the mid and the dry down. The dry down is kind of, everything just tones down. I, I think you lose the rose, the jamminess tones right down so it's not quite as sweet. And it becomes ever so slightly vaguely woody. Um, still with a little bit of the suede, a little bit of the sweetness and this sort of cloud-like, I see super musky kind of smell. In terms of performance for this, I'm hitting about 8 hours in longevity with only about 1 hour of projection before it's very close to the skin. Uh, it didn't, it, you know, it's quite average in performance. To me, it's just, although it's not unpleasant, I don't dislike it apart from the first 5 minutes. It's just not something I would personally reach for, I don't think it's that interesting. And it smells on the cheaper side. To me it smells cheap. It doesn't smell like there's quality ingredients in here. I mean if you like suede and like a rose with a little bit of a sweetness, I would say go for Memo French Leather. That's a lot nicer, there's a lot higher quality in that fragrance if you like brown suede with a little bit of rose then I would go for that personally, rather than this. This does remind me ever so slightly of French Leather by Memo, obviously the, the, the brown suede and the hint of the rose. This is just a hell of a lot sweeter, this artificial kind of jam, jelly kind of thing going on over the top of it all, which just makes it very sweet, but in an artificial kind of way. It does smell kind of like more of the strawberry variety of, of jam, if you know what I mean. Pleasant enough, 
uh, to me it just smells a little bit cheap, a little bit boring. Yeah, it just doesn't excite me, it doesn't do enough for me, this particular one. So it's a miss from me, uh, check it out if you'd like to. I think I've got the full set, I'm not sure if this is all of them, but there's, a, there's certainly a lot of them. Uh, I've got 24, the original, 24 gold, 24 gold oud edition, what else have we got? 24 platinum, 24 platinum oud edition, 24 go dark, and 24 elixir gold. If there's any in particular you would like me to review next, uh, leave it in the comments and I'll try my best to select that one next time. Thank you again to Chris and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.